Hi everyone, uh, it's Chris from Australia just demonstrating to you that ad hoc networking uh, MIDI and iOS uh, 501 do work and uh, we'll just go through the procedure and show you how. Uh, firstly, you notice that the icon up here it's set up to uh, connect to my uh, local um, uh, Wi-Fi workstation, oh sorry, uh, hub, um, my airport. Uh, so I'll create network and we'll create a new one called ad hoc uh, experiment. Uh, leave it on channel 11, security none, create. Done. Okay, now on the phone we need to connect to that Wi-Fi. It's connected to my airport network now. Let's go connect to ad hoc experiment. Done. Okay, so that's all we need to do there for the moment. Now we'll go to audio MIDI setup and we will go to the show MIDI window and network. Now here we actually create a new session, so this is empty, we we'll create a new session, call it session 1, enable it. There's the iPhone 4 because I'd already connected it um, uh, to that network and we just select the phone, hit connect and there it is in my participants window. I changed my live routings to network session 1 in and network session 1 out of the network and that's all there is to it. So now I need to simply fire up Animog. Here it is here and make sure that in setup I've got uh, network session 1 selected. That's done. Okay, now I'll fire up GarageBand, which I have uh, fitted with a new um, plugin called MIDIO, M I D I O, which enables GarageBand uh, to actually um, pass MIDI out. Um, and I'll create a new project, and we need to select a um, software instrument, and I'll call this ad hoc this session create and here we go select my instrument go into edit change the generation to MIDIO select my destination which is network session 1 close window bring up a keyboard and you will see here magically no cables. <laughs> 